Hey man, what it do you too? It's your boy back again. And video, man. So look, they say I I seen what uh uh Demi said. Not really. I just seen the I seen his title. It said, you know what I'm saying, you got gameplay tomorrow. You feel me? So uh I'm gonna be on that. Yeah, feel me. I'm gonna be on that. Uh but we got bash bug here. Did not watch the video. I seen it when I woke up and then and clicked on it. And see what see, skim through it. I really ain't see what he, you know. What I'm saying I ain't hear what he was talking about, but I see uh, I, I see, uh, skim through it. You know what I'm saying? A little point. Seventeen minutes, so we are gonna get straight into it. Prior uh, quick pauses, but if you're new, make sure y'all subscribe. We are gonna be doing the two K uh the two K news as well. So when they drop they, you know what I'm saying? When they when they drop they news, that's gonna be my news for y'all news. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just in case y'all wanna know what I put in my two cents. You know what I'm saying? My quarters, and my nickels, and my dimes. So let's get straight into it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like I said, if I said it already. Let's get into it, man. After about three Bass weeks Club. of silence, subscribe to Bass Club. 2K has finally gave us the biggest news Bang. of the cycle so far. So whatever you gotta do, make sure that like button's blue. Hit that subscribe. That's a like subscribe Ice. button if you're new. I'm not here to waste your time. Let's get right into this, y'all. So 2K gave us some information today, as you see right here. Road to 2K25 gameplay reveal August 1st. 10 45 a.m eastern see it here first twitch.tv slash nba 2k i'm not 90 minutes i'm not doing all that coming drops to be 10 45 no and i want to talk about that it's important we really need to but i also want to put this into it as well before we do gameplay powered by pro play of course tomorrow we will update this page with dates and times of additional drop enabled streams during this campaign which will take place before 2k25's release come back to this page this to my... find the latest mm -hmm. schedule my player and my career reveal my nba reveal the w reveal my team reveal complete this twitch drops campaign by watching drops enable live streams of the road to 2k25 on twitch for nine damn they got hard yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. 90 minutes to earn an exclusive locker code containing the following rewards for 2k24 now i'm not going to read those because their 2k24 rewards now that's where i think 2k messed up on there they probably should have gave us 2k25 rewards if you really want to be incentivized to sit in there for the whole time and watch that yeah because i'll be in there and watch dr dm incentivized to see it because they're going to be talking about the new game so it didn't really right. matter that much to them now as you all see right here from big heck he said since the drops are 90 minutes worth of watch time are we getting a 90 minute stream tomorrow sounds like a deep dive if so with corresponding courtside report question mark i'll have my reaction because I'm gonna just get up and works with 2K, eat. does like the logo gauntlet and stuff like that. He just said the 90 minutes is across all upcoming drops enabled road to 2K25 streams. So tomorrow's stream alone won't be 90 minutes long, but you should be able to do a big chunk of that watch time tomorrow. Now, that's got me really thinking a big chunk of that watch time tomorrow. Because remember, 90 minutes is what you have to do to get those rewards. And not like the rewards really matter, but it's what information they're dropping and how long it's going to be is what matters here. So a gameplay trailer we know is most likely going to be just, you know, some sweat, some online footage of like, I don't know, Jason Tatum versus the Nuggets or something like Jason that. Jason Tatum hitting the layup. And it's, you know, it's going to have a little bit of stuff to break down inside of there. Some new accessories that you can wear on your arm that's customized, blah, 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 things like that. But what is going to be able to give us all a big chunk of that watch time? I don't know if that's going to be the trailer we get tomorrow that we're expecting. It could be something better. But of course, I don't want to get your guys' hopes up. It's just like, I mean, you guys know. I mean, it's going to start at 1045 a.m. Eastern. 1045. We have a 10 to 15 minute quote unquote hype up where it's just sitting there. They're talking about it or something. And, and yeah. you guys know 2K loves to drop their news at 11 a.m. Exactly if you've been here. So it's probably going to be a 15 minute wait up. So there's 15 minutes. But the trailer is only going to be probably like two minutes. So are we going to get something else as well tomorrow? I don't know. But this is the most important thing or most interesting thing in my Bro, opinion. Bro, what y'all mean for 75 guys? Damn. What is Community Day going to look like now? Because in the past, last year, we were able to see real five on five, footage. five my players versus five my players in the rec footage and things like that, that we weren't able to see in previous years. I mean, it had been years since we had seen stuff like that. See what I'm saying? So now that 2K is dropping all this stuff themselves, my career and things like that what is community day even going to be we don't know yet maybe it's to show off specific Man, i'm gonna start like giving me this friend man fleet bro i don't Jesus. know we all seen last year 
that a lot of things were not ready to be seen. Like the game was not fully developed before the game came out. So I don't know, but I'm just saying it's interesting that 2K is going to be going to Twitch this year because as we all know, if you've been in the community for a while, 2K for years now has prioritized streamers. They care more about streamers than YouTubers. I'm not saying that they don't care about YouTubers, but it's pretty obvious they have prioritized the Twitch website. And, and like, duh, cause like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, the streamers gonna get your, you know what I'm saying? Content creators can only do so much. Then, but the streamers, yeah, they they can really like when Solo Manati was streaming 2K, you know, what I'm saying Pretty Boy Fredo, all the all the goats, you know, what I'm saying I'm Davis, all that man when they were streaming, the game was popping. That's because the game was good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Teach his own. Now they're trying to get in on it themselves by forcing viewers like, hey, if you want to see this information right when it comes out, you got to come and watch us on Twitch. And you can also get Twitch drops, which is another thing they're trying to incentivize people to come over so that they can get watch time and get more viewers. But I think they messed up, of course, with having 2K24 rewards because I'm not excited for any 2K24 rewards that I get at this point in the year. But yeah. you see what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, my God. Now, the game today, over with. A few days ago, he said this on Twitter he said to the people freaking out about not having a 2k25 trailer just know the 2k24 trailer didn't drop until august 15th so damn that is right 2k is actually starting their news cycle guys hey with same day delivery on pest treatment starting at 15 dollars. i'm gonna my lay boba i'm a 3d artist based in hamburg germany Nice, nice art dude. earlier than they did last year it's weird because like we got the cover athlete we got the pre-order bonuses and then they just went silent i mean i'm guessing Nothing. it's because college football came out and it was so hyped and they planned accordingly to not drop anything around that time because people were gonna be like i don't care i'm on that game which is an amazing game by the way i have over 100 hours on it it's it's bad i gotta start taking some time off i don't know how to balance but Anyway, what I'm trying to say is they might be dropping like two to three times a week now at this point, and that's why they waited because last year they started a little bit before August, but then it yeah, was a little bit slower because they had already dropped some news. So I'm guessing they wanted to wait until August to begin so they can drop probably news two times a week in the first week of August, maybe two times in the second week, and then three times, four times, you know, up until the game comes out. So hey, hey, and don't be doing the know, music when it, when it's time to do the, 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 the little sure deep dives. Don't be doing that, bro. 25 with the mindset that I told you about, like builds are probably still gonna be, you know, seventy five hundred dollars. I doubt they're gonna change that. The I really don't care. Microtransactions will most likely be worse, like the season passes and things like that. We'll probably have actual pay to win things in there for the first time. Like they had some this year. They weren't, I don't think, too bad, but I would say I would expect to see things in there that you literally cannot earn besides spending money no matter how much time you play. See what I'm saying? Don't expect the Titans and Zins to get fixed. I mean, cheating across a bunch of games like Call of Duty is rampant. Yes, they are trying to get rid of them, but I just don't see too I don't think you can get rid of that shit, bro. It's just like, so that's something we'll talk about in you minute, can't get rid of it, bro. So if you run into it, you just gotta, you just gotta accept your fate, you feel? I also wanna go back over this right here from the my career uh information we got i'm not gonna read the whole thing but at the bottom it says compete at various new venues some competitive street ball fun and compete at various new venues so i don't know if they're so gonna separate part, those two it part uh uh in the theater, I, you know what I'm saying? It's, does say under the unless we doing the uh, the look, now, we've talked about the look, what you call it again? NBA Live where he's so facing uh, what you call it? Plus places to play. I can't remember his play name. France, the little dude, Miami, California, New York. That's awesome. I would. Oh, love sorry, here. Me. I think that would be a huge thing for the right. team. However, it seems like it's only gonna be for my career, even if they do add it into the game for 2K25, which is pretty disappointing. Of course, if you do play my career, you do, you know, they deserve some cool things as well. There are people that still play my career. I haven't played my career I since my first meal. It's really awesome to see it for the online players, but I don't think we're gonna get that. Anyway, I'm yapping a little bit here. I just wanna make sure you guys are ready for 2K25. Like, understand that the like input delay, the latency, lag whatever you want to call it is probably still going to be bad i mean don't expect 2k to have the greatest server you know what i'm saying like go bro the only reason we was having input lag is look on your screen right now 
Just look, look this on your look how many niggas is on my damn screen. Look, it's five thousand niggas on the left. I see about six hundred on the right. Two hundred in the middle. Like all these niggas, get these niggas up out of here, man. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. Go in there with the mindset of like, if you're buying 2K25, you're buying it because you're there for the new things and blah, 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 but you're really probably there because you love basketball, you need that basketball fix, whatever it is. You know, there's gonna be issues, is what I'm trying to say. Like, there's going, there's a 99% chance there's gonna be some pretty bad issues. Like, the game of 2K24, literally, we didn't even get the real game until like, two months in you know what i'm saying they had a lot of patches to do the game came out super input delayed uh latency lag whatever you want to call it but anyway troy dan went to twitter and this is what he said right here Twenty thousand likes i'm old enough to remember when nba 2k used to have prelude demos before release <sighs> we talked about it in the last video man it is so hey, unfortunate like that we will probably never have demos again for 2k they sell millions of copies every single year. At this point, we know that it's gonna take. I'm old enough too. I ain't know it started at 17. I thought it was a 16 though. Like. Lot, a lot yeah, but, you know, and then I buy them games. Uh, my pops did. You know what I'm like we talked about it in the previous video, 2K23 I think sold 13 million copies, right? If they sell 11 million copies in 2K25, because there's probably going to be a drop due to Black Ops 6 coming out, the new Dragon Ball Z game, and then with 2K26, we're going to have GTA 6 coming out, all that. Yeah, they're going to lose some customers probably, but if they charge more, which they have probably made more this year in microtransactions than they did last year, we can see from the earnings reports, it doesn't really matter. It makes up for it. Like if you have 11 million players, but they made you $1.5 million or uh, billion dollars, and then last year you had 13 million that made you 1 billion, they're happier with the 1.5 billion. I'm telling you right now, they are happier with that. So if I can, yeah, if I can squeeze that money out of your pockets, I don't give a fuck who buy it. Test the game and get things fixed before it comes out, but they don't want you, this is my opinion, they don't want to drop a demo because then you'll have a feel of the game. Like imagine you get the game and you don't like it. You're playing the demo. And, oh, there's an issue here. There's an issue here. I'm not buying the game. They just want you to at least buy the game. It doesn't matter if it has issues. You still bought it. Now, I went to Twitter. And this is what I said. I genuinely can't think of Bruh. what the main selling points for 2K25 will be. And we kind of talked about this. But last year, it was the Legend Grind, new affiliations, pro play, cross play. Even though I, you see I have the Legend Grind in quotations because they didn't do it right. The only big thing I can think of is a ranked mode. But I bet they do it wrong and female my players, which doesn't get me jumping out my chair i have a strong feeling that 2k is going to have a ranked mode this year this is my badge plug prediction this is an official badge plug prediction the first one of 2k 25 99 chance and because i'm just thinking of what is a big selling point for the game and I've seen some people like in the comments of that tweet say like, New oh, movement. they need to improve ball physics and stuff like that. And you know, they're going to have these big words when they talk about like the changes with offense and stuff like that. But I'm talking about huge. You're, I'm, I'm saying to market to a mass audience. For example, crossplay last year. That's huge. You know, people were like, wow. You know, I'm on Xbox, I finally get to play with my PlayStation friends, or I finally get to play against pl Xbox and show them that they're not good. You know, that's a huge audience. Ball physics, stuff like that, that's for like the people that are already buying the game, most likely. You know what I'm saying? Like someone who's like yep, 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 yep. buying 2K25 is not gonna be like, oh, new ball physics, right? So I'm thinking of something huge. Female my player. It'll be like, my damn time, God, no. oh shit, nigga, I'm smacking the ball. This shit going behind my head, fuck. Players that, we, that we've talked about because the WNBA has gotten so much more popular this year, but also a ranked mode. But of course, as you see from this tweet where I responded to myself because I wanted to further get into it, I said 2K has never had a real ranked mode. If you make a brand new 3v3 Pro-Am or 5v5, you can load up and play the number one ranked team first game. I That's was on the leaderboards in 2K, uh, 2K13. Work. You should only play yeah. people around your rank and get rewarded for playing. Will they do it right? Doubt it. So, although I do believe 2K25 will have a ranked mode, it doesn't Bruh. really mean much because 
or it most likely won't mean much. I'm not saying it won't, I'm not writing it off because I just don't think they're gonna do it right. We see it right now because technically, Bruh. and it hurts to say, but technically 2K25 has a ranked mode right now. Although it has been needing revamped for years because 5v5 Pro-Am, 3v3 Pro-Am, all that has been the same exact thing since creation. It's technically ranked, but you can literally, and I've seen comments of people telling me, and I've done it myself, you know, I make a new pro -M team or join one, and you can play a team that's diamond ranked or platinum ranked, whatever it is on the game. No other ranked game is like that. Like, say me. You ever been on gold and played against, uh, uh, uh I played against, I played with rookies on fucking gold and flat. In Black Ops, well, Apex. I used to play League Play a long time ago, Call of Duty. If you're one of the highest ranks in the game, you should never ever load up and play someone who's like in the lowest rank. Like, let's just say we're on a completely new game here and it's bronze, silver, gold, diamond rank, right? There's four ranks. Bronze is the lowest. You'll be able to play with silver. Highest. If you're a diamond, you should never load up and play a bronze level. I mean, what's the point of ranked play? Ranked play is, is to literally- and, and, and when you look at it, bro, there's no difference between silver and, and bronze. I'm not going to lie. It's just silver, you play the game a little bit more. Go, uh, bronze, bronze, you just started. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's so it. You load up and play against someone around your rank to test your skill. And if you're good, if you win those games, you move up to the higher tier. That's the whole point. If you're just playing bronze tiers as a diamond half the time, well, there's no point. And you also need to be rewarded. They have to give actual good rewards to people that have played throughout the season. And at the end of the season, because of course seasons are back in the game, so after 42 days, if you're top 100 or top 500, you should get some sort of cool reward that incentivizes you to do it next season besides just saying, hey, this is my rank. You know, and you should also be able to go back and see that you were ranked in that season and have some sort of reward that says, hey, this is what I had last season. You may not be able to see it right now because I haven't played a lot this season, but when I was playing a lot last season, I was top 100 and you can see it right here, smack dab in your face. You see what I'm saying? But even worse, I know this sounds crazy. I just keep going in on this is the fact that 2K25 will most likely still have a bunch of cheaters. Now, we need a ranked mode. We've talked about this before. We can't be missing out on features due to, oh, someone's going to boost. Okay, 2K needs to ban those boosters. Oh, we can't have a ranked mode because people are going to cheat. We need a ranked mode, and 2K also needs to have an anti-cheat system. They go Man, hand in hand. We can't be giving 2K excuses saying, nah, we, we don't need that mode. Nah. Man, just do a, uh, do, do a uh, what you call it doing? Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, you want to zoom, huh? Don't put you in there with them niggas. Oh, we don't need this because people oh, are shit. That's giving them an excuse because they don't hire people to go out there and ban boosters. You know what I'm saying? Like they need to have two or three employees that come in every day and their whole job is banning people that are cheating or boosting. You see what I'm saying? What's wrong with boosting? You know what I'm saying? Don't want to do that with their At the end of the day, they still ask. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't run into a couple of boosters. Go. Boom, niggas. Keep up Charlie Intel. Two additional cheat providers for Call of Duty have been shut down today after legal notices from Activision, including Raging Nation and Stealth Wear. Now, apparently, recently in the Call of Duty community, it's gotten even worse with the cheating. But you see that Call of Duty is actively going at these cheaters. They are literally trying to sue them and make them stop being able to let people cheat. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if 2K is currently pursuing these people. I don't know all the you laws. Have to, Maybe these people that you, have this You would have to get that panda nigga out of here and the nigga that create titans. You would have to, like, can't do shit, about bro. It. I don't know. But all I'm saying is it's nice to see that they're actually trying to get it st to stop. And I would love to know or not if 2K is trying to get the people that own the Titan Discord and Zen Discord to stop as well. But that's what they need to do. That's a good example right there. They're that panda nigga, you got to get rid of him, okay? bro. Now this guy's you gotta said, something. Was I don't know. They showed the vertical after the dunk, forty-eight point three inch dunk. And bro, if that, you guys that remember 15? that, man, drop a like on the video if you haven't yet, because that was such a cool thing to see in the past, man. I, every time I would dunk the ball, I couldn't wait to see my vertical. You know what I'm saying? No, bro, that shit was a. Only only needed that shit in the flashes. I was doing so fucking uh, quick drops and that shit was play. happening, but no. <laughs> But I, you, you guys know what 2K does, man. Like they're gonna take away the my core. Eventually, the my core will be, will be back, right? Eventually, the my core put it back will this be year. back in the game, and and people are gonna be excited about that. I'm just gonna be like, oh, the my core is back. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's back. It should have been in the game the whole time. 
But that's what they do, and it does work. I mean, whatever they do works. Until we see a game that sells under 10 million probably... copies, 2K is still doing good. Like we've talked about this before. Nigga, that shit can sell nine million. Y'all like niggas gonna buy VC. Might, might not be there. There might not be. Y'all gonna buy these? Uh, oh, and they ain't my team coins. Copies. Yeah, yeah, you gonna buy this shit? Copies. Well, that's probably it. But yeah, bro, I feel like when she like invested in and they start taking anything to add in there. Nigga, then we had that in in two K fifteen. That's all you gonna get. But hey, I'm up out of here though. Good video. They said we got gameplay. Tomorrow I will be on that. I will be recording that. I'm not gonna be in the in, in, in the streams and shit. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be playing music, all type of you know what I'm saying? So when one of these boys take take away the music, that's when I'm on there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm up out of here. Subscribe, like, share. Peace, man.